Alright. When it comes to this particular dream, I'd like to discuss what I think more of it meant. In the dream, I can remember that I was writing this Mandela Effect letter, how I felt in that dream. I wanted everybody to acknowledge the Mandela Effect, and I was writing this letter, and a snake came and sat on top of it, not letting it go out to anybody that it was supposed to reach. I think part of what this dream meant is the serpent is actually blinding people to the Mandela Effect. What I'm going to say next is probably going to be offensive, and you know what? I don't really care if it offends you. Truth is truth. In order to... In order to defeat the serpent, the Mandela Effect community needs to stop obeying the serpent. And the Mandela Effect community is still obeying the serpent. Washington Jackson honest, has told me he honestly believes that God wants him to pass along stolen information. It does not take a Bible scholar to understand that the Bible says stealing is a sin. But he is insistent that God desires for him to pass along stolen information because of WikiLeaks. Now, it's an excuse and nothing more. He is obeying the serpent whenever he does stuff like that. He claims that Chanel and Brad are so prideful and sees themselves as this king and queen even though they don't. But he is so prideful that he believes that he gets to pick and choose who the two witnesses will be. Actually, a lot of people within this community have that exact type of pride that blinds them to who the two witnesses really are. And the Serpent is feeding off of that pride. All throughout the dream there was this theme of I wanted everybody to acknowledge the Mandela Effect, and that was why a letter was written. And a serpent blocked that message of the Mandela Effect from going out. I think it's easy, even easier for everybody to see what is actually going on here, because there is a spiritual serpent that is currently blocking our message. But the problem is... The Mandela Effect community is actively obeying this serpent instead of working against it. If we started actively focusing our energy on getting rid of the serpent instead of blindly obeying it, and blindly obeying the leaders of the community who are actively listening to it, um, I don't care how spiritually mature you think someone is, if they are actively saying that we need to sin against God in order to follow him, and if you refuse to do so, you don't love Jesus, then there is a problem. It's the serpent that insists that refusing to sin against God is turning one's back on him. It's the serpent that makes this insistence, and anybody with eyes and ears that are open, spiritually open, can understand and know this. But most, uh, but much of this community is blind and listens and obeys this serpent instead. We cannot get our message out until the serpent is gone and Chanel and Brandt's work are all a very important pieces of that message, mainly because Chanel is receiving letters from Jesus actively. Chanel's letters aren't going to go out until this serpent is gone, but the community really needs to come together to get rid of this serpent instead of continuing to just blindly obey whatever the leaders have to say. Meanwhile, the leaders are saying, you need to sin or you don't love Christ. And if you guys wonder why I don't believe such nonsense, it should be obvious to anybody by now. The serpent is making itself known by the fact that Jane lied publicly on a live stream. The serpent makes itself known whenever Washington Jackson states that God desires for him to pass around stolen information. The serpent made itself known by the fact that EYA doesn't seem to care that Jane lied at all. We can all see 
who is actively obeying this supernatural serpent, this demon. So, I think the true understanding of the dream is now out. The full, true understanding. So what, what every, what's everybody going to do with it? Is everybody going to continue to allow the serpent to guide the Mandela Effect community down a terrible path? Or are we going to correct ourselves and kick the serpent out? I will see everybody in the next video. Thank you for watching.